What's up everybody? I'm Jen and I'd like to welcome or welcome you back to Copper Cactus DIY. This is my furniture refinishing channel and in today's video I'm getting started on this very old bookshelf that my husband Matt made for me about 20 years ago. The wood is still in great shape but unfortunately the finish that's on this thing not in great shape. So if you're into videos like this one, furniture refinishing, makeovers, faux finishing, or anything like that, then don't forget to subscribe right down below and click that bell so that you get all notifications about all of my uploads. But with all of that business end stuff out of the way, let's just get right into refinishing this bookshelf. I don't know how well this is coming out on camera, but man, she is dusty. Crusty, kind of a mess. You can see all the shelves here. I use this, obviously, all the time. Let's see if we can get the top, even though I can't see it. Hopefully you can. Oh, also, things like this need to get taken down. <laughs> I was at that game. Yep. Anyway, my first order of business here is going to be to clean this piece, so I'm going to knock this over on its back now, and uh, we're going to get started. Oh, yeah, easier. Can you swing out, though? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That is much easier. Oh, actually, can you hold it from the top and I'll just get the feet right now? Yeah, awesome. go for it. my generic degreasing soap and a bucket of warm water with a lint-free rag. All right, let's do this. It only took me about nine minutes to give this bookshelf a good degreasing scrub. It was an easy job, especially since most of this piece is smooth and flat surface area. Actually, the worst part of this was the damn mosquitoes. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and we've been lucky enough to get a great monsoon this year, but it's bringing out all the freaking bugs, and apparently my calves and ankles are on their preferred menu. I had about 20 bites before the end of the day. First, before I show you guys the water, clearly the water wanted me to do this project. How happy is that? The happy project. Yeah, I'm a dork. Okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's do this. Anyway, after cleaning, I wiped off the soap until the water looked clear. That took a couple passes with a clean wet rag and then I left everything to dry for a while. I'm gonna use my orbital, just my regular old orbital, and a 220 grit sanding disc. All right. Also, I'm just gonna use my big mask anything in. It's super cute. You'll see. If you watched my video last week, then you know how much sanding I had to do on that desk. I'll link that video below if you want to check it out. But anyway, I was a bit hesitant to sand this because of that debauchery. <laughs> 
It actually went really well this time, though. So well, in fact, that I wondered if I should get everything down to the raw wood. I only considered that for about one second, though, because I used some new-to-me paints in this piece, and honestly, I just couldn't wait to get started. A cup of coffee in the morning, and I get the paper. I check the headlines and decide that I am bored. I check my email and I decide to answer later. Another cup of coffee and I drag myself to work My life is grounded in a firm routine of coffee, sleep and work I am not boring, I just stick to what I know Yep, that's good So I wiped everything down with a damp rag. I got as much loose dust out with my shop vac as I could before using a wet rag on the inside too. Things were pretty much literally dry as soon as I finished wiping down because Phoenix. And it's not just dry here. By the time I finished, it was too hot to prime. It was probably okay that I had to wait anyway. By that point, I'd been chewed alive by mosquitoes, so I left things until the next morning. So today I'm actually using a brand new to me product and I'm going to be using Dixie Belle for the first time. I grabbed this, um, what are, what are we here? 32 ounce. I grabbed this 32 ounce gray boss. This is going to block stains and odors and yet it's a water-based formula. Instead of using like kills with shellac in it that I'd have to clean up with mineral spirits and I just don't want to get into all of that. This is water cleanup. I coated myself in DEET and then coated this bookshelf with Boss in Gray. I'm using my Triangle Zebra Brush to apply the primer in the corners and along the edges. I stick to what I know. I stick to what I know. So I didn't record my first impressions of this paint, but I really enjoyed it. It gave me almost total coverage on the first coat, and it dried smooth and level even where I applied it with a brush. That was pretty cool. After cutting in, I applied primer to the flat areas with a fabric whiz type roller. The paint went on really smooth with the roller too, especially on the beadboard. After rolling that area, I used the brush to work the paint down into those grooves. I finished up the last of the primer and left everything for the night. So I'm at the point now where I'm about to put on coat one and I just wanted to talk to you guys about another new product that I'm using in this video. I'm like all over the place with new stuff this week, but I'm gonna be using for the first time ever, Melange paints. Now, this one is called Traveler Blue, so I wanted something kind of light and almost the same color as the Dixie Belle Boss. That's why I bought the gray. Now, you may be wondering why I'm holding so tightly onto this paint. I mean, I do love it, but that's not the reason. She's in a glass jar, and um, 
My floor is concrete and I'm me, so I'm assuming I'm gonna drop this and spill it. I'm just really hoping that I get the bookshelf done before I get to that part of my nest. Anyway, I'm gonna get started. It's already getting hot and as you can see, I'm in jeans. That's mostly because if I get bit by one more mosquito, I'm gonna probably scratch myself into the next millennia. So <laughs> I'm getting started. I'm gonna roll this on. Hopefully it rolls on pretty nice and hopefully I can get this done in one coat, but we'll see. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's so smooth. I used the same brush and roller combo and I know it's so hard to see on camera because the colors are so close. Like I said, that's what I wanted though. I had a sneaking feeling I wouldn't have enough of this paint to do two coats on the bookshelf. Spoiler, I didn't. <laughs> so I was really, really happy this paint covered so well. This is only my first time using Melange, but I'm thrilled to have a couple more colors on hand. I'm using another one next week on a file cabinet. Can't wait. And that jar is the larger size. Probably what I should have gotten for this huge piece, you know? Anyway, it applied well and self-leveled, so I didn't have any brush or roller marks. And if you know me, then you know I'm a beach girl. This color goes with pretty much everything else in our house. Bye bye early 2000s cherry stain. Hello, soft blue gray. I rolled on a coat of Modern Masters Dead Flat Varnish on the flat areas, but I know this top coat skins over really fast here, so I back brushed just to make sure there weren't any lumpy bumpies. And then I left the piece to dry while I waited for the feet that I ordered to arrive. These flat plastic feet with pins attached showed up a couple of days later, and they were really easy to install. So easy, I did it in my pajamas. I used a regular hammer and gently tapped to get the pins in place. Then I grabbed a piece of cardboard to buffer between the hammer and the feet, and I tapped that into place a little more aggressively through the cardboard. I did three on each side, and then it was ready to finally bring back inside. My bookshelf was done! So I'm pretty excited with how this came out. I mean, sure, she has some gaps and some of the wood is warped, but I love this new finish. The color is a refreshing break on this big dark blue wall in our living room. 
so I'm pretty psyched. Let me know what you think down below, and while you're in that neighborhood, go ahead and click like. And if you do like furniture refinishing videos, then subscribe and do all the stuff to get notifications. I'm here every week and would love to have you join the fun time party. Next week I'm making over a file cabinet made out of particle board and veneer, and I'm hopefully doing some faux too, so you won't want to miss that. But that's all I've got for today. I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers, and thanks to all of you so much for being here and watching. Later, peeps! What's up, everybody? Welcome to Copper Cactus DIY, my brand new furniture refinishing change. Really light? Okay, let's try that one more time. Uh, little... Are you kidding me right now? Mosquitoes, dude. She'll do. That's good enough. Yeah? Mosquito? Yeah? It'll spray deep right in your face. Get out of my house. Open this up. And leave it as close to the ground as possible. I will kill you. Can you sting me through my knee properly again? Oh, I just hate mosquitoes. They are the worst. The mosquitoes are gonna make me crazy. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I I can pull it off. Stretchy McStretcherson. That's gonna be my name right now. Here, fly. It's not bad enough. Your mosquito cousin is in my face. Okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Go team. Oh, let's do that again. Okay. That's good. Oh god. Oh god. Toe. 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 I am too old for this sometimes. <laughs>